How many of you uh, would feel uh, if you went to court and if you went to court, the judge is sitting behind the bench and you got a speeding ticket? And he says, listen, I'm going to put you in jail for 30 days because you got too many speeding tickets. And you got sent to jail and you found out that the judge has the same amount of speeding tickets that he didn't pay as you. How do you feel? You're mad, not because you're not wrong. You still are wrong. And you still need to pay your tickets. The problem is that the person who judged you was also wrong and you would think, before you judge me, shouldn't you get your stuff together? I mean, shouldn't you clean up? Uh, there's, an old, uh, there's an old song that says, uh, if, if, if you've been around a long time, uh, long, 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 long time, uh, it's an old song that says, uh, sweep around. <laughs> Some of y'all know that song? Look at my, look at my father, he's he been around a long time. He, uh, some of y'all didn't get excited. Some people have been around a long time. Y'all know the song. Sweep around your, your own front door before you try to. The only thing we're saying is, I'm not saying that my door is not dirty. I'm not saying that my door is not dirty. I'm not saying that my door doesn't need cleaning. What I'm trying to say is, clean yours first. <laughs> clean yours first, and then you can come and what? How do you judge that way? When you have a beam and they have a speck or a moat in their eye. Now, is Jesus saying that the person's speck or moat doesn't need to be removed? No. no, it still needs to be removed. But go ahead and get that log out yours first. You sit there knocking everybody over with your, with your log out of your eye. And you sit there, you trying to do surgery. If, 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 you, if you're going into surgery and the doctor can't see right. <laughs> he having problems seeing this morning. You know what you should do? <laughs> what you should do is say, this might not be a good moment or time. <laughs> We're going to come back and revisit. <laughs> We're going to come back and revisit. We're, what I need you to fix, because I still need to be fixed. I still need surgery. I still need brothers and sisters to address me and we need to fix this problem in me. But what I'm trying to say is, before you want to have a church meeting on me, before you do that, make sure you get your stuff together. And somebody said, well, I know my stuff stinks. Then remove yourself from the meeting. Remove yourself from the group that's trying to address because you won't see correctly. You're going to be biased. Or sometimes what we tend to do, we tend to be more harsh to hide the fact that we're caught in the same things. Do you know how many senators and congressmen who fought against homosexuality and it was found out that they were involved in the same act themselves? So what they decided to do and what most people do is they become more verbal and they become uh, more aggressive when it comes to sins that they commit so that nobody looks at them or hides any fact that I'm struggling with the same thing as well. So the world scratches their head when they're caught and they're saying, but wait a minute, didn't you pass laws? Didn't you, you were the most verbal, you were the most aggressive person against this activity and you yourselves. And it's a way to hide. So sometimes when you hear somebody commit the same sins, this is how some people like to act. What? <laughs> they did what? Oh no, oh, I can't. And somebody says, but you, oh well, it's not the, well, we all sin. 